Hey YouTube, welcome back to the N54 project. Today we're finally going to be diving into some mods. So let's open it up. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up. Okay, so big moment. Going out of ourselves can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real cuz when we're doing our thing with the wheels don't stop turning. Nope. A few moments later. Okay, so we've finally got it down unpacked. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful flat bottom steering wheel. Um, it's, um, it's from a company called AZA Auto Wheels or AZA Wheels. Um, I will have a link in the description um, to, to get your own. I, I've purchased it from eBay. They've got a store online there and you can fully customize the steering wheel. So um, I've opted for the flat bottom. Um, so you can probably see here, it's got M stitching, which is kind of cool. Um, it is, my, my 135 is a M sport, so it sort of ties in without fully claiming it's an M. Um, my, current, my current M sport um, 135i does have a little M badge, so I don't feel too bad about including that. And I opted for the red stripe at the top um, to, to match the red leather interior that I have. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, it is always a bit of a risk buying something online that you haven't seen in person. You're not sure what you're gonna get or um, what the quality is gonna be, but I'm really happy with this one. Um, the other option that I went for was to keep the paddle function, uh, the paddle shifter functionality. So you do have to transfer these over from your current wheel. So we'll have to look into how difficult that is. Um, I guess we'll be finding out soon, but um, yeah, look, really excited to, to put this one on. Okay, so let's jump straight into this one. Um, first step is basically removing the negative terminal from your battery. Uh, that's why we're in the boot currently. Um, as you can probably see here, I've got a bit of a uh, plastic bag, bag situation going on. This is, this is to stop your boot from closing. If it does, um, that does somehow close whilst you're working on it, you don't want that to happen as you won't be able to access the boot again as there is an electronic mechanism. Um, so this one's pretty simple. I, I didn't see much online about this, so I thought I'd just show you how it's done. Um, so basically, you can see the battery there. Basically, you've just got to remove the negative terminal and that will stop the airbag from exploding in your face. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so I forgot to mention it on that past uh, little video, but the tools that I used was a 10 millimeter socket um, just to loosen up that battery. This time around, I've opted for an Allen key. Um, a lot of people use flathead screwdrivers, but I've heard that an Allen key can be a little bit easier as basically what we're gonna be doing is removing the airbag through a tiny slit on each side of the back of the wheel. Uh, the direction we'll be moving is pu putting it in the hole and moving up to the top of the wheel. You just got to wiggle around in there and then I believe you've got to sort of tilt it in to unlock a clip and we'll be removing the airbag out and then repeating on the other side. So let's give this a go. Okay, pre-warning, this is not an easy job. Um, I've switched to a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so after a lot of testing and things not working properly, I ended up using the new wheel to try and figure out the correct angle to put the screwdriver in. Um, it's a lot more simple when you can see what you're doing, but basically uh, it's a lot easier than everyone makes it out online, uh, which is what has made it actually harder. So. You just need to put it in basically in a straight line. Praise the Lord, we finally did it. So basically what ended up happening was I got one side out, but I pulled it out too far before trying to get this side. Seriously, once you understand it by looking at your 
The new steering wheel is just so much easier. You can probably see it here. I'll show you once we get back upstairs, but you just push it in on the straight angle. All these videos online make it so much more difficult. They're trying to go up here and get up to the top, then angle it over, and it's just not meant to happen like that. You can clearly see along here, that there's a line, you just go straight up and don't overcomplicate things. So we've got it off now to actually disconnect the airbag. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so for the next part, you need a 16 millimeter socket wrench to remove that bolt in the center. Um, they do recommend using an extension, so just um, put it all together and, and give it a whirl. All right, so, so use your legs to stop the wheel from moving, but <clears throat> God damn. Okay, after a bit of a uh, bit of pressure, it is loose, and then basically you can just unscrew it with your your fingers. When you watch these videos, everyone else makes it look so much easier. But for the home mechanic, just be prepared, be patient, take your time, and um, we'll get through this together. So anyway, for those at home, the grey clip is on the top side on the left. And the black one is on the top as well. I just need to give it a bit more force. There we have it. Success, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally there. Next step will be adding these paddle shifters to the new wheel. See you soon. Okay, so here you can clearly see the difference between the two wheels. So trying to get them in one shot, you can see the standard one is just a little bit plain. It's it's round. Um, it just looks like you, you could have, besides the little M badge, maybe a little bit of grippage. Um, obviously, the paddle shifters. You could you could have this on a any kind of grandma vehicle. Whereas this one, with the flat bottom, with the red stripe and the much more aggressive grips, it just suits the part. It's it's meant to be. Um, I shouldn't mention this before, but you can customize what the steering wheel is actually made out of. I went for the Napa leather um, choice, but you can go for Alcantara. Um, you can have perforated leather, I believe. In hindsight, I might have chosen perforated for the sides, like the original M Sport, but um, look, I'm super happy and can't wait to put this one on. Now we've just got to look at getting these um, paddle shifters off the old steering wheel and onto the new. Looking inside here, it looks like it needs some torx parts. I've, I've got a T20 and we'll be having a go at taking it apart now. Again, again, not very easy to see, but there's the clip that needs to go in the back, sort of in there. In person, you can see it quite easily. And there we have it. We've got both the paddle shifters done and dusted. They seem to be working. Now just to plug it back in and see if that's everything. Okay, so basically, process of putting the wheel back on. This might be a little bit hard to see in this lighting, but there is a little notch at the bottom, somewhere probably around there. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but it is there. There's also a notch on the wheel. So you basically just need to line these two up. It's pretty simple. Okay, so as you can see, it's now lined up. Um, we just need to now connect the gray and the black cord into the wheel and then this green and other black uh, different style cord will connect to the 
and a bag when we put that back in. So I'll just do that now. So we've got the first two cords back in place. That was the gray and the black one. Um, before you put the other black and green um, cords back on, you obviously need to do up the bolt. So, um, it's bolt here. So we we'll just put it in to start with, but um, I have been advised the specifics um, to torque it in at. So I've got my um, torque wrench and basically you need to talk to spec. It's uh, 46 foot pounds for all the Americans watching or for everyone else it's 62.5 Newton meters. So I'll just talk that up now. Okay, so those two are in, uh, sort of can see here. Uh, then you just have to line it up and it's in. Now to reconnect the battery and we should be done. Hey guys, so it's uh, now the next day. Uh, I've reconnected the battery and everything is working perfectly. Um, first impressions, I did take the car for a drive. It's amazing. It uh, feels so, so much better. Um, just the grip in your hands is more concise. Um, funnily enough, it felt like it made the steering wheel a little touch lighter. Um, it's still very heavy steering and feels very precise, but just with it's a touch thinner than the stock steering wheel. So um, just coming from my Golf R, I think it was a bit more what I was expecting and I think it's really lifted the car as a whole. So big recommendation. So um, if you're interested in uh, buying one yourself, as I said, I'll have a link in the description below. So go check it out. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe as it really helps with my motivation to keep making these videos. Um, I have had a couple more parts arrive, which is very exciting. So I should be pumping out a couple more in-depth modification videos in the near future. Um, so as I said, subscribe and um, we'll jump through the journey together. For those of you just discovering this video and haven't seen my past videos, I'll be linking my past videos top right now. Um, gives you a bit of a history of the project and where we're coming from and where we're planning on going to. So as always, big thanks to everyone who has supported the video. I'm really excited for what's to come with this project. We'll eventually jump into mods um, for the engine. I'm looking to go full bolt on um, stage two plus MHD and just stay tuned and We'll be getting there pretty soon. Cheers.